What's YouTube? It's Matt Morozik, a.k.a. MVM397, with an unboxing for you. Um, I know there's already a few of these out here, but a few unboxings of this already, but figure what the hell, I'll do one and show you uh, this kit. Um, as many of you know, this is uh, the Mechanicore 1100 XI um, that's been uh, highly anticipated for a while. Um, got this one from Abby Inc. Um, she had a really good price and it took a little over a week to get so pretty good shipping um, and this is the second edition as you can tell from here right there second edition and or pre-order two um, there is a pre-order one out also um, already which I have one of those coming too from um, Kits Power I pre-ordered it a long time ago and I forgot that I pre-ordered it and um, I bought this one before the other one was shipped so anyway I've got a second one coming and I'll do an unboxing of that because there are some differences between the two releases um, so first of all um, the packaging on this is very impressive I haven't opened the box yet I just took it out of the initial shipping box and the initial shipping box was exactly the same size as just as this box just wrapped around it um, but the packaging is really nice um, it's got a handle you know it's kind of like your perfect grade kit would have um, the box is about the same size as the Zabi Master Grade box, maybe a little smaller, um, but it's got a really nice uh, cardboard box, and um, I don't know, I'm just real—it's real nice presentation. It's real simple, um, nothing too flashy until you get inside. Nice um, half tone print on the back, and there's a nice little cutout inside of the box right here and you can see there's plastic over the box inside but it tells you what kit number this what number this is in the series and this is kit 1730 of the second run so it's kind of like a resin kit it tells you what number of the run you're getting which is kind of cool um, this being a plastic injection kit there should be no difference between the very first one out of the molds and the last one um, it's a little different with resin with resin the molds break down and as you get further into the run the castings don't become as sharp but this being plastic there shouldn't be any issue um, so let's open the sucker up see what we got so make sure we're in the frame and so this comes open and this pops open and then you're greeted with this view so so the box inside is in a plastic bag Pull that out. I'll just get rid of the plastic bag so you don't need it anymore. It's in there pretty good. It's an exact fit, so it's packed really well. Let's see if this out. There we go. Put that on the ground. Take the plastic off so you can see the sucker. And this is a very nice box. Pretty impressed. Um, I don't know if it's showing up on my camera, but it's a metallic coated type box, very much like the Kshatriya. Elin Kshatriya. And my understanding is this is Mechanicor is Elin revived, like Elin kind of shut their doors and then became Mechanicor. I could be wrong. So let me know if I'm saying that right. So I think I'll take this off for the tripod in a second so you can see it better. But um, as you can see, it's pretty shiny. Again, second pre order there and again it's hard to even with it's hard for me to see this because <laughs> it's so shiny it's hard for me to look at so I can only imagine what it looks like in the camera but here's some nice detail shots there's the light up thrusters which I'm not sure if it comes with that in the second pre-order I know it's the first for sure that's kind of a nice shot right there it shows you a detail of the head and the batteries and how that works um, just some nice detail photos of the inner frame and stuff. And yeah, nice shot of the side again. This is very reminiscent of a G System box, the newer G System boxes. I mean, you can see my reflection in there, so shiny. <laughs> so, yeah, really nice packaging. Um, everything's in English and Chinese. I'm assuming it's Chinese. This is a China kit, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> Someone can tell me. So let's open up the box and take a look at all the stuff inside. I 
to get a blade because it is taped. So give me a second to find a blade. One right there. So I'll just get that open. And we'll cut that open. And we'll take a look inside. Again, really nice. So the first thing you're greeted with is comes with a poster and it looks like a nice poster. It's a digital rendering of the kit or of the mobile suit. So this will look nice hanging up in the garage. I don't have any kind of posters hanging in my build space or photos. But this will be a nice start to that. I think I'll hang this up over here where I in my build area. Give me some inspiration. It's a good size poster. And it's really nice. So, yeah, that's cool. It's a nice little addition. Put that back in the wrapper so it doesn't get damaged. So, like I mentioned, I have, um, I've got this one and then I've got another one coming, which is from the first pre-order. So, my plans are, whenever I get to around the building, one or both of these guys, is that the first pre-order, anyone who has that knows that it comes with a uh, screen printed cam camouflage, digital camouflage armor. So my plan is, on that kit, I'm just going to do out of the box, maybe paint the frame, but I'm not going to, probably won't paint the armor and just kind of decal and flat coat it. This one will get fully painted. Because um, I, I don't want to ruin, ruin the, the digital camo on it. A nice cardboard cover. Again, nice digital rendering. This would be a nice thing to hang on the wall too. Gives you all the specs of the kit. Pretty nice. Um, a lot of pieces. Um, there's 33 runners. Uh, there's 800 plain plastic parts. 166 coated parts, which I'm assuming are the chrome parts. Um, clear parts, 12. It does come with the, uh, the LED rockets, five of those. Wires, nuts and bolts, 75 nuts and bolts. Anyway, it gives you the basic specs. So there's a lot of uh, six LEDs. There's a lot of parts of this kit, well over a thousand. So it's uh, more than some perfect grades. <laughs> nice little plastic package with um, the instructions and spec sheets. Now, one cool thing they did with this, and I'm kind of digging it, is all the instructions are on a DVD and they're all uh, digitally animated so it's not like a Bandai kit where step by step instructions come on a DVD just like this and so and it's if you've seen any of your promo stuff it's all animated so it's kind of cool and each animation shows you which runner to use which parts to clip off and how they go together it's got a real nice set of photo etch and another thing about this kit, a lot of these are um, double layered, so like this part right here goes down and then this part goes on top of it, so it gives you a nice three-dimensional look, which gives you a lot of options for painting the metal etch too. You could paint the recesses one color um, and do a real quick enamel, like a reverse wash on it, and maybe paint the other, the top part a different color, so that be gives you some nice possibilities there. It's a nice photo etch and water slide decals not a ton but there's quite a few I won't say as much as over a car kit but a lot of warning labels and stuff like that and those look really nice pre-cut and this is notes a notebook about the product um, in English which is nice gives you a packing list all the runners and how many of each of those you should have. It even gives you the weight of the runner, which is kind of interesting. I don't know why you want to know that, but it gives you the weight of the runner. Um, comes with an, an aluminum uh, V-fin, which is cool. And just uh, line drawings of all the runners, which should make part location a little easier. Again, this is uh, they take the, this is kind of interesting because they've taken some um, They've kind of combined some resin kit practices like these line drawings of the parts and layouts and gives you all the part 
you know, for part location. And then it's taken the plastic injection part for the kit. Um, here is, it's actually the uh, index for the instructions. It tells you what part does what. It gives you the resolution and how long that is. So uh, the total length of the instruction video is 53 minutes and 16 seconds. So if you watch the whole thing straight through, that's how long it is. Um, some nice uh, renderings. I can't tell if this is the actual kit or if these are renderings. This almost looks like renderings to me. Um, it's just too perfect. I'm not seeing any texture or anything, but um, it's a sharp looking suit, man. This is really cool. I also own the 172nd G System kit, so uh, again, a nice rendering of the back. And some runners. Let's see what we got. Oh, so. I'm going to take this off the tripod again. So you open it up, you got two sides. And each side has a big bag. And each bag has smaller bags. So I'm going to open some of these up and take a look. I'm not going to do what Dave does and go each go each runner and show you each individual runner. Um, that's just a little time consuming. and It's kind of like once you've seen one kit, you've seen them all. But this is a new release from a new company. So we'll go over some of it. So those all come out, and there's some other goodies in here. Okay, so we got the LED thrusters right here. So we'll turn it over. So there you LEDs. Here are the aluminum thrusters. Uh, some wiring bits. The photo etch for those parts. There's some wiring involved in there. Shouldn't be too difficult. Put that to the side. Uh, we got some, it's not polycat material, it's harder than that, but it's got fingers very similar to a master grade finger. Um, what I, th and I, I think this frame is like the, um, like the Elin Kshatriya frame, but it's not pre-built. So basically they took the frame and they didn't build it for you, which I'm okay with because that means you can clean all the fruit, you can clean all the numb marks off. Alright, here we got um, the two runners of the coder parts. Sorry about that guys, I th <laughs> when I got interrupted, I thought I hit the record button and I didn't. So I was talking for about five minutes and I didn't record it. So <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go back over some of the stuff I was talking about when I thought I was recording. Uh, two of which were, I found the metal V-fin, which is right here. And it looks real sharp. So I don't have to worry about the broken one. It looks real nice. Should be nice, nicely painted. And I found the pack of screws and nuts and everything. And they even give you Allen wrenches, which is real nice because, um, you know it's going to fit exactly and you know there's scramble for allen wrench bunch of metal pieces um not sure exactly what those are for maybe those are vulcan cannons some tiny wires which i'm guessing are for the head led um, so there's all that and i was just going over some of the plastic to show you the plastic um it's very similar to uh elin kishatri as far as the plastic goes the texture it's got a little bit of texture to it not bad but it's not like perfectly smooth like a bandai kit um so, and what it looks like is that these print, these pieces were designed and then 3D printed because you can see some very slight lines going across like these bigger pieces. And um, that's the way kits are being designed now. Um, that's how Neo Gray does, does his. Pia will design his kits in the computer and then 3D print the pieces, clean them up, and then cast them in resin. So, um, I'm a, I'm a, I assume that's a much easier process not so labor intensive um, and you can make sure everything's going to fit correctly in the computer first uh, some of the white plastic again it's got a little bit of that texture um, that I'm not worried about because again it's going to get flat coated and uh, it doesn't bother me I know some people kind of harp about that but no big deal and then also I was talking about the head um, I know that there was a an issue with the head at one point and they, re they released a separate sprue which is the head to fix it so my guess is that they fixed it and then they re-released it with the fixed head so there's the head there and I'm guessing that they fixed it when they did this run so there it is no separate runner uh, that's about it
looks good. Um, talk to you guys later. Thanks.